and welcome to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Wellness Wednesday, and we're here to open your mind. Good life. We are living a good life right here on WBOK, opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and hopefully everyone else. We do that weekdays with Money Monday, Relationship Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, Gumbo Talk Thursday, and of course the Good Life Friday. I am here with none other than the six degree black belt, Bashan Jordan of Tiger Rock Nola. I have my backup everywhere right. that I go, so I am one person you do not need to mess with. That's right. Because he always with. teaches me tricks, so you never know. I'll be like, hi ya! <laughs> Sneak up on you. Knock you out. <laughs> what? I hope you never have to use it. You might me hurt, too, because I might, put I might in hurt hospital. somebody. Right? <laughs> Because I might hurt you. <laughs> and speaking, if you want to learn any self-defense, Taekwondo, it's for adults, or, you know, just get into a new workout r- routine, please contact Bashan's Jordan. How can they do that, sir? 504, oh, I'm sorry, call at 504-831-1110. That's 504 831 Because it's the good life. It's the good life. It's well worth it. And speaking of the good life, I have been on my little journey. Yes, I'm ma'am. excited. Yes. And I'm excited to tell each and every one of you that the journey is not ending. Look, I don't know if y'all can see. Look, my face. It's a little bit more spelt. Don't you agree? <laughs> you told me that this it's morning, spelt. and I didn't even have the ass. It's spelt. It's a little bit more spelt. Like so I'm that. really excited. This isn't just 30 mm-hmm. days. It is a a lifestyle. A lifestyle. So yes. if you are interested in any of the products that I have been using, it is the good life radio show dot isogenics.com, the good life radio show dot isogenics.com. I'm really kind of excited excited about it y'all know once you really start seeing like weight loss you start get you start getting really serious it's crazy because i told bashana i was yeah. like i'm like i'm getting and just more a serious little bit now. will make a huge difference right and i'm like you know 10 uh, percent yeah. really does like totally change your body so while i've been on my little exercise um y'all know i'm off on and off the wagon so anything i find that helps <laughs> I like to share because why the time is now. If you know something, the time is now. The time is now to change your habits. And you know what? I was going to talk about, should I talk about what I found first or should I talk about the time is now to start exercising? Which one? How do you want to start the show? You always start with food, so. I know. I do. I know. (laughs) That's not really a good. (laughs) Well, Um, yeah, yeah. we're going to start. (laughs) Fine. We'll start with the food. It's still breakfast time, so it's okay, I guess. Right. Well, Yes. Uh, and here is a great example. Speaking of Wellness Wednesday here, and of course, Bobby Clark Alexander of the ATL will be here for our last segment. The whole uh, thing for the week is the time is now. It is now. It is now. And speaking of the time is now, what's crazy is that you really are a reflection of the five people that you spend the most time with. Yes. And I'm going to tell you why, because I have never been a coffee drinker in my life. I'm just like, why would you drink coffee? Like, I have never been a coffee drinker. My significant other, he, like, loves coffee. He drinks coffee all the time. So, you know, we'll go. I'm like, okay, well, let me taste it. You know, he's like, oh, taste this. Taste this. This is hazelnut. This is a flavored coffee. You know, like, Mm -hmm. has me. We even tasted. We went to, shout out to High Vault. This is free advertising. And they um, they have this new coffee that's called Bulletproof. Well, theirs is called Shockproof. You go to different places, it's called different things. Mm -hmm. They It's coffee mixed with butter and some like HCL or some type of oil that oh, they Lord. blend and it's supposed to like shock your system. Like seriously, I didn't drink it all because I was like, oh, I can't do it. But he drank it and Shocky he system. was like, loved it. And I've heard, you know, different people like it. So I'm speaking of being, you know, how people rub off on you. Guess who stopped and got coffee this morning? All by myself. No prompting. <laughs> Coffee. I'm not even a coffee drinker. You know how you like it? But now I'm like... How do you like your coffee? I need it flavored. I do. I like a flavored blend because I, I, I just... See, I, I wouldn't even know how I would like... I don't, I don't even drink coffee. I don't know. But that's the point. When you hang around people, it becomes... My wife and my son love coffee. See, like, that's a see? shame. Eight-year-old. This dude drinks coffee. Isn't that crazy? But... So I was like, well, if I'm going to start drinking... Well, let me tell you really why I started drinking coffee. <laughs> Because y'all know I'm doing my, my isogenic. So, you know, you have shakes and like a, a 600 calorie meal or whatever. So I was like, well, I really can't, you know, I don't want to defer from the program. So I looked up the coffee and I was like, oh, it's so many calories. I can, you know, throw that in. So I drank the coffee. Number one, it was a stimulant <clears throat> in, in more ways than one. And I was like, all right, now I like coffee. <laughs> I was like, I can totally throw this in the mix. Wow. So that's really why I like. So I'm like, if I'm going to, well, 
This is Wellness Wednesday. We're being honest. Yes. Look, at least y'all, y'all, if y'all didn't think I'm truthful and honest on air, I'm open. Yeah, I'm, you didn't know. I'm honest. Now you know. It is. So I was like, you know, if I find something, I'm going to figure out what it does yeah. if I'm going to, you know, <laughs> throw it in the diet. So you're laughing, but oh. your, your wife and your son drink coffee. So I'm going to give you 13 health benefits of coffee. Okay. And this is from authoritynutrition.com. And let's say I am not a doctor. Uh-huh. So check this out for yourself, but I got this from authoritynutrition.com. They say coffee is actually very healthy. So I was like, okay, let's see. Mm. It's loaded with antioxidants and beneficial nutrients that can improve your health. They say studies show that coffee drinkers have a much lower risk of several serious diseases. Mm. So here are the top 13 health benefits of coffee that have been confirmed in actual human studies. This is from authoritynutrition.com. You know, make sure you go check this out with your doctor. But they have so many people all over the world who are addicted to this stuff. I figured out. I'm like, I figured that I should at least... Figure out what the what the whole hoorah is. Like they make a lot of money off of coffee. Do you don't know how many people are like Starbucks. stuck on this stuff? I'm sorry, I hate the cup, but that's not even good coffee. I went to. I went, <laughs> you know where I found some pretty good coffee, and I didn't even know. Local. Well, you he go, gave it to me. We were we were driving. Speaking of it, we were driving out of town to go see my parents. We were going to the Bluffs. They had their showcase this weekend, so shout out to the Bluffs. Mm-hmm. If you are a golfer, go to the Bluffs.com, the Bluffs.com. Check it out. It's the number one golf course in the state of Louisiana. Amen. Just FYI. Yeah. And so we stopped at, he was getting gas, and we stopped at, like a, not, wait, what is that? That Circle K? Or what, what is that thing? Like right off of Loyola when you're going out of town. Yeah. That last it's, it's egg on. I think it's the Circle K. Yeah. Whatever that is. Yeah, yeah. He came back with this coffee, and I yeah. was like, no sugar. I mean, I was like, no cream or anything. Yeah. Just give me like a splendor or uh-huh. something because I didn't want any dairy. That's good. But it was a flavored hazelnut. Hazelnut, and yeah. And I was yeah. like, how'd you get this flavor? And yeah. he was like, it's a flavored coffee. But I was like, hazelnut oh. or like, I used to have to stop and get my son that in the hello. morning before school. Really? This is like, this dude was like three years old. <laughs> he was asking for coffee. I was like, who are you? Y'all. Like, that's the Dominican like, side of him. Who knew that gas station coffee was, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, so, you don't have to go to spend all that money on it. You, you don't. It's a dollar. You don't. But here are the things that it can do. Mm-hmm. And this is why, look, coffee can improve energy levels and make you smarter. I was like, it can make me smarter? I'm all about it. I mean, I'm pretty smart. But yeah. Okay. yeah. They say coffee can help people feel less tired and increase energy levels. And that's generally why you hear people yeah. say that they want it. You know, I can't energy. function without my coffee yeah. and this, that, and the other. But, you know, being a non-coffee drinker and already having a ton of energy, I'm like, <laughs> is it going to put me on nine or ten or like... We'll see. Full of rain. Well, I have it right now, so y'all can tell <laughs> if there's a difference. And they, it's because it contains what well, we all know, caffeine, which is usually the most commonly consumed psychoactive substance in the world. Did you know that? I did not. Just a little FYI. <laughs> you know, after you drink coffee, the caffeine is absorbed directly into the bloodstream. Jesus. So after that, it travels into the brain. In the brain, caffeine blocks an inhibitory neurotransmitter. And when that happens, the amount of other neurotransmitter like nor nor epinephrine and dopamine actually increases leading to enhanced firing of neurons so Mm. see i give y'all all the background information of why you feeling smarter and stuff so that's what coffee does but it can also do this which is you knew there was a reason why of course my backup reason (laughs) coffee can help you burn fat (laughs) and i am about anything that is helping the weight loss process so if you know you know and it's natural it's not something that you know you processed and you created God created it I'm all about it Co- coffee can help you burn fat but you is, at me. No, is it is it just straight coffee like black coffee or are Ooh, you allowed to mix the I don't think you're allowed to mix all the hazelnut in there. <laughs> exactly. That's, well, that, see, I just said I didn't put the dairy stuff. Okay, I just used okay. A splendor or something. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to read the little section. I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you what it says. Yes. This is from authoritynutrition.com. They said, did you know that caffeine is found in almost every commercial fat burning supplement? Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. there yep. must be something to Coffee it. Coffee grains. They said there's a good reason for that. Caffeine is one of the very few natural substances substances that ha- that they that, – <laughs> That have actually been proven like to coffee. aid fat burning rate. Right. Several studies show that caffeine can boost the metabolic rate by 3 to 11 percent. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Other studies show that caffeine can specifically increase the burning of fat by as much as 10 percent in obese individuals and 29 percent in lean people. However, it is possible that these effects will diminish in long-term coffee drinkers. I wonder why, because it gives you that, that caffeine boost, right. so you, you, you get energy, so you're burning Obviously, you're burning. Uh, you, I mean, right. you're exercising a little bit. Your your cardiovascular kind of 
picks up a little bit. But the thing about it is with anything, your body will adjust to it. So yeah. if you've been a long-term coffee drinker, it yeah. really doesn't have the same effects. But since I'm a new coffee drinker, <laughs> I figured, look, if I'm going to go, I'm going hard in the paint. Hard Y'all know paint. what that means. I'm going to throw oh, everything Lord. at it at one time because I'm Jesus. mentally... Like, <laughs> I'm uh, so serious. All the stores like up your coffee. <laughs> lock, lock, lock up your up, kids. Lock up your, kids. Lock up your coffee. I'm coming. <laughs> Obviously, it's had an effect. I'm really excited this morning. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm on caffeine. Okay, look. The caffeine can drastically, you'll like this. Caffeine can drastically improve physical performance. So, y'all, your coffee drinkers. Yeah. Caffeine stimulates the nervous system, causing it to send signals to the fat cells to break down body fat. Mm-hmm. Yes. But caffeine also increases um, adrenaline levels in the blood. So mm, this is a fight or flight hormone um, designed to make our bodies ready for intense physical exertion. Caffeine makes the fat cells break down body fat, releasing them into the blood as free fatty acids and making them available as fuel. They say given these effects, it is not surprising to see that caffeine can improve physical performance by 11 to 12 percent on average. Because of this, it makes sense to have a strong cup of coffee about a half an hour before you head to the gym. A strong cup of coffee. It says strong. That means don't add all that other stuff. Yes, but you see? Just hit it. It's not, oh, I have a, you know, I have a cup of milk in it. Yeah. And then I put five packs of sugar. You're messing up the, the, the program. That's I, not really. I've seen videos of guys, like like guys that do bodybuilding. They'll drink the, just the, uh, what is that, the coffee? Like the shot or something? Yeah, do like a shot of like the grains. But, oh, I've seen that too. And then, then they'll, they'll rinse it with water, but they'll drink. They'll eat that and then put like a big old scoop in their mouth and then really to kind of get that immediate. Would that uh, kind of look at me? Would that kind of be like? <laughs> no, seriously, is that kind of like? I know this might be nasty. Is that kind of like tobacco use? You know how I don't like, know. What it do could, they call that when they put that? Yeah, in their the, um, yeah, tobacco. Um, Lee. Yeah. What, what do they call that when they put tobacco in their lip? Like you know, it's like the direct going yeah, into yeah, your yeah. It's tobacco chew. Your system. They call it chew. I know, or, but yeah. you know, whatever that but, is. Yeah, yeah. But you know, yeah, if you're putting put it, the if yeah, you're it goes straight the, into the system. Yeah. The grinds directly in your mouth and letting it. Let it. Well, I don't think there. they let it sit. I don't know if they let it sit. They may be, but yeah, I I've heard. Know. Yeah, I've seen some different. But stuff. you know, they're serious. They like yeah. digest raw eggs and everything oh, else. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, nothing but chicken. Yeah. Well, plain chicken. I mean, now you now you talk about me now, so. Mm. It's okay. Well, and here are a couple more effects, and I will say, check these out with your doctor. I am not a doctor, but I'm getting this information from authoritynutrition.com. They say coffee may protect you from Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Hmm. They say Alzheimer's disease is the most common um, neurodegenerative disease and the leading cause of dementia worldwide. This disease usually affects people over 65 years of age. Unfortunately, there is no known cure. They say, however, there are several things that you can do to prevent the disease from showing up in the first place. This includes the usual suspects like eating healthy and exercising, but drinking coffee may be incredibly effective as well. They say several studies show that coffee drinkers have up to 65% lower risk of getting Alzheimer's disease. Hmm. Wow. They say caffeine may actually lower the risk of Parkinson's. Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disease right after Alzheimer's. It's caused by death of dopamine generating neurons in the brain. Same as with the Alzheimer's, there is no known cure, which makes that it much more important to focus on prevention. They say in studies, coffee drinkers have a much lower risk of developing Parkinson's disease with a reduction in risk ranging from 32 to 60 percent. Wow. In this case, it appears to be that the caffeine itself that is causing the effect so people who drink decaf don't have a lower risk of Parkinson's. So it has to be the caffeinated version. Yeah. And uh, two they, more, two, yeah. a couple more, because uh, I'm trying to get them in. Mm-hmm. Coffee appears to have protective effects on the liver. They mm-hmm. say the liver is an amazing organ that carries out hundreds of important functions in the body. Several common diseases primarily affect the liver, including hepatitis, fatty liver disease, and, and others, obviously. Many of these diseases can lead to a condition called Scyrosis, I cannot pronounce that, sorry, y'all, in which the liver has been largely replaced by scar tissue. It turns out that coffee may protect against this, and people who drink four or more cups per day have up to an 80% lower risk. Four cups a day? Y'all really drink that much coffee? They be drinking it. Y'all drink that much coffee? Really? I only had one cup, and look, I'm on 10. Like, you know, (laughs) like, what would happen if I had four? What would happen if I had four cups of coffee a day? You are not allowed to have four cups. (laughs) You and this girl that uh, works for me, Mary, she is not allowed to have coffee. I t- oh, my gosh. I was like, no. You oh cannot have coffee. If, you, if I see you with coffee, I'm going to smack it out your hand. Lee, give me one more minute. I'm going to finish these. <laughs> coffee can Like, I had too much coffee. Coffee can fight depression and make you happier. They had depression as a serious mental disorder that causes significant 
significantly reduce quality of life. They said it's incredibly common that about 4.1% of the U.S. currently meet the criteria for clinical depression. Mm-hmm. Long story short, there's a Harvard study published in 2011 that women who drank four more cups per day had 20% lower risk of becoming depressed. Y'all, four cups a day, that's a lot of coffee to be Jesus. drinking. Coffee drinkers have a lower risk of some types of cancers. That's mm-hmm. why I wanted to get through all of them. Cancer is one of the world's leading causes of death and is characterized by uncontrolled growth of cells in the bodies. Coffee appears to be protective against two types of cancer, liver cancer and colorectal cancer. So open your mind to living differently in the world. Wait, and also it says coffee does not cause heart disease and may lower the risk of stroke. Um, and coffee may help you live longer. I got these from authoritynutrition.com. I'm actually going to put it on our Good Life radio show page. So follow us on Facebook if you would like all of these tips. There are 16 of them. We have been discussing 13 health benefits of coffee based on science. This is from authoritynutrition.com. I am by no means a doctor, but you know, if I find something that's working for me in any type of way, I like to share and spread the love. Why? Because the time is now to start taking care of ourselves. Open your mind, y'all. When we get right back, we're going to figure out why now is the time to start getting our mind right with regard to exercise. Even if it's walking around the block, if you start today, you can literally change your life. It's a good life, y'all. I'll be right back. Isagenix is one of the fastest growing companies in the world because their products work. Their solutions and culture has redefined the health and wellness industry. Science backs their products and statistics back their success. But it's the people who make them successful. And I, Eileen Carter, have joined the Isagenix revolution. I've used the products and followed their system, and I'd swear by them. I'm on my journey of transformation and invite you to join. Join me and try Isagenix today. Challenge yourself and change your life. Find information and testimonials at thegoodliferadioshow.isagenix.com. 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 Order yours today. Small businesses play an important role in society, and LNR Security is no different. LNR Security delivers safety and comfort to our neighborhoods, events, apartment communities, conventions, work sites, festivals, and your business. LNR Security can be reached at 504 943 3191 to ensure the safety of your employees, customers, family, friends, and you. LNR Security has made its mark in the security arena for over 37 years and will faithfully continue that tradition. Call today for your personal personalized consultation to ensure your security needs are met. LNR Security differentiates itself by creating partnerships with our clients and guards. We are now hiring armed and unarmed guard professionals, retired military, sheriffs, and PD to grow with us and impact our community. Be a part of the change with LNR Security. Call us now at 504-943-3191. 504-943-3191. The M.E. Tour is coming to New Orleans Thursday, April 13th at the House of Blues. It's Marsha Ambrosia and Eric Benet coming together for one night only in the Crescent City Live at the House of Blues. Located at 225 Decatur Street. For ticket information, pass the line on Foundation Room Access. Call the House of Blues box office at 504-310-4999. It's two Grammy-nominated multi-platinum singer-songwriters joining forces for the ME Tour. And it's making a special stop in New Orleans Thursday, April 13th at the world-famous House of Blues. Purchase your tickets online at LiveNation.com or at the House of Blues box office. It's the M.E. Tour, featuring Marsha Ambrosius and Eric Benet, April 13th at the House of Blues at 225 Decatur Street. See you there. Calling on all those concerned about quality education. The national board members of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP, will be conducting a hearing on quality education on April the 6th from 5.30 to 9 p.m. The hearing will be held at the New Orleans, Louisiana City Council Chambers. That's at City Hall, 1300 Perdido Street in New Orleans. If you're concerned about education, please attend the National NAACP Hearing on Quality Education 
and express your views. The hearing is open to the public, and there will be time for you to make a statement and ask questions. Again, calling on all those concerned about quality education in our state, please attend the National NAACP Hearing on Quality Education and express your views. For more information, contact Kim Ford at 504-248-8594. That's 504-248-8594, or email her at NOLA. NAACP at gmail.com. Thank you. The Good Life Radio Show is a proud WBOK block programmer. To advertise with the Good Life Radio Show, call 504-400-7127. 504-400-7127. Open your mind and grow with the Good Life Radio Show today. That's 504-400-7127. Hi, this is Mark Morial, and I'm living the good life with Eileen Carter. Tune in to the Good Life Radio Show weekdays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. so you can live the good life, too. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Wellness Wednesday, and we're here to open your mind. We are living the good life right here on WBOK, 1230 AM, opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and hopefully each and every one else. And we do that weekdays at 11 a.m. Make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms. Please, we need your help. Follow, follow, follow. You can see what goes on during commercial breaks. You can find out what the next day of the show is. You can find out, you know, just what's going on here, there, and everywhere. Because this week is about now. The time is now. And I am here with none other than the Bashan Jordan of Tiger Rock Nola. Follow him as well, at Bashan Jordan or at Tiger Rock Nola. Is that right? We're at Tiger Rock Nola, yes, or you can find, find me at Bashans, B-A-S-J-O-N-S underscore J-O-R-D-A-N. And the time is now. The now. Right now. now. Right now. The time is now. Right now. Number one, to follow us and to start working out. That's right. So I was like, you know, we always think, I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to start after French Quarter Fest. I'm going to start after Jazz Fest. See, I said, I'm going to start after Mardi Gras. I did. And what I happened was... I, I'm still doing it. I'm not perfect. I know. But I'm a work in progress. Nobody's perfect. I'm a work in progress. I am too. Literally, I'm a work in progress. But nonetheless, the time is now. Yes. It, because if I don't start... If, it, it's, if it's drinking more water, yep. if it's getting up to walk around the block, yep. if it's, uh, you know... Drinking your shakes two times a day. Drinking your shakes two times a day. If it's eating breakfast, period. Whatever it is, start today because... If you don't start today, you will absolutely be really, really sad. Yeah, later on. So you. I found out reasons to start today, but I want to ask Bashartan, why should we start today? Um, why? Well, um, because why? if you didn't start earlier in the year or earlier <laughs> in your lifetime, um, you know, it's never too late uh, to start for one. Um, you know, but like I always tell people, the reason I do is just because I want to um, – uh, you know, be able to live in a healthier life as I get older. And, um, you know, you don't want to suffer for what you're doing now, you know, as you get older. So uh, taking care of your body is important, um, you know, Ding. now uh, while it's nice and healthy and you could do things. And then as you get older, you could continue to do those things, but obviously at a uh, moderate pace. And But you don't have to worry about going to the, being at the doctor every week or <laughs> Taking right. uh, all these different vitamins and pills and things like that the doctors give to you. So, um, and you don't have to worry about your grandkids have not being able to Aww, spend time with you and your kids true. have to, uh, take care of you when they, when, you know, so that's, that's honestly, you know, that's what made me do it. Honestly, I mean, I just like, look, I don't want to be that, 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 that guy. So, um, you know, just take care of yourself. But, you know, so start now, you know, uh, it starts with, whether you want to just go take a walk around the block or um, just anything, get up, just something. get up and do something. Some do people, something more than some people right th- right now yeah. chilling. You're just sitting there on the couch, not doing anything. 
take take your phone or whatever and listen to us on the phone and walk around the block. Do something. Do something. Do something. That's right. Do something. Well, here are 11 reasons you should start working out today. I'm on a list day. I don't know what it is. Well, and I thought it really went well because some of these are in conjunction with my coffee. <laughs> Oh, Lord. oh goodness! Coffee and and working out is one of those things. Where you're like, oh, I'm gonna start when I feel better. But here's here's the mental trick it plays on you. You are never going to feel better no. until you start. start. Exactly. It is like the mental trick. And y'all y'all are listening to me nodding your heads yes. because you know exactly what I'm. Talking. I'm gonna start exercising when I feel like when I feel better. But mm-hmm. it's never gonna happen until you, you start. Never feel better. So you have to start today yep. because the time is now. Yep. So here are some reasons. Number one, guess what? I didn't even realize this, but it actually boosts your happiness levels. Yeah. And just like when I said earlier, and I didn't even think about it, that I was happier Happier. because I was like, I'm starting to see it. Yeah. Well, I'm happier and I want to do more of it. So if you want to feel that way, you have to start now. So they say, um, Hmm. you know, whether we're fully conscious of it or not, we're always looking for, you know, a way to find happiness. And exercise is one of the most obvious obvious steps to take. It's not a coincidence that you feel better after a good workout. They say it's science. A Penn State University study found that people who exercise, whether it was mild, moderate, or vigorous workout, had more pleasant feelings than those who did not. So start today. If I miss a workout, you don't want to talk to me. Really? Just letting you know. You're that bad now? (laughs) <laughs> I didn't go work out this morning. I'm in a good mood right now because I know I'm going to work out in a little bit, so it's okay. You're going to get it in. I'm going to get it in. You're going to get it in. <laughs> they also say that uh, learning to set and achieve goals, it said whether it's deciding to run a 10K, increasing the amount you can deadlift, or increasing your bike mileage, setting and achieving fitness goals an incredible self-confidence boost. But if you find your resolutions failing to the wayside, like are y'all still doing your lint? I'm just saying. Mm. <laughs> Science has uncovered the secret to success, setting clear intentions. They said a 2002 study examined three groups of people. Group one, the control group, was told to track how often each person exercised throughout the week. The second group, the motivation group, was given the same instructions, but also read a motivational speech. Group three, the intention group, added to the previous groups by asking people to create a plan that set a specific day, time, and place to exercise. Guess which group was the most successful? I wonder. Hmm. Group three had a much <laughs> higher rate of actually following through yes. at a tune of 91%. Oh, while the con- you're right. While the control group exercised at least 38% of the week and the motivation group actually exercised the least. Wow. Hmm. With just 35%. That's I would crazy. not have thought That's that. That's huge. Right. So we say, oh, we're motivated. Mm-hmm. No, we're not. Yeah. I've been on the motivation. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in a motivational group way too long. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I need to switch to the intentional group. But that's funny because we just said yes. I'm switching up my workouts. And um, you have to do that to, like, stay yeah. interested. Yeah. So, Michelle and I are going to weight lift uh, one day a week together. Yes. And see, we're going to be intentional. We already decided the day and time. Amen. Shout out to us. Down for see, it. the power of goal setting. They say by discovering this and committing to reaching an exercise milestone, then working out just how you will achieve it, you can enjoy the benefits of exercise and confidence that comes along with it. And it's true. When you start losing weight and your clothes start fitting a certain way and you do have a certain, mm-hmm. you know, a little swag. You do. You have a swag and the confidence in yourself. It's telling you to breathe. Your watch. See? Stop. Why you? <laughs> Y'all, he has an Apple Watch. No, it's telling me to stand. He has to tell you to breathe. You got to stand, too. The breathing is important, too. stand up. It's important, too. Well, guess what exercise can help you do? And a lot of people suffer from this and don't necessarily realize that walking around the block a couple times, Mm -hmm. just starting there, can help this. Oh, yeah. Sleeping. They say if you can't sleep and instead are prone to tossing and turning, exercise can help you sleep better. By strengthening your circadian rhythm, exercising can help keep you more bright-eyed during the day and bring on sleep at night. It also promotes better quality sleep. So guess what, y'all? Exercising helps your sleep. And there's so many people who do complain about their sleep patterns. Yeah. So, number one, you need to exercise. But number two, setting a, a time to sleep every night could, and getting those hours I could speak hours for that in. for sure myself. I mean, I, speak I, to I, it. I'm a speak type to person. It. I used to never could sleep, you know. And uh, when I changed my lifestyle, I was able to <laughs> sleep more uh, or, you know, it, it, would, it would take me a while before I go to bed, go to sleep. Mm-hmm. I could lay there and just my mind gets to going and it would take me forever. But now... Uh, 
let me hit the bed for about five minutes. <laughs> it's it's I'm over. <laughs> it's over. But I think we really take sleep for granted. Granted, we do. We don't yeah. realize it's, how important it is for so, so many busy. different functions. And even weight loss. Weight loss. Amen. You, you know, have to get the, the appropriate amount person. of rest yeah. to have e- effective weight loss. Look at you, man. I know. See? I read. Mm-hmm. I read. You can mm. be somebody's trainer. <laughs> I need to just be my own. <laughs> if I were more intentional. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. You are. Okay, great. Uh, well, look, speaking of the coffee earlier, it's an energy boost. So there do, you go. I'm doubling up. <laughs> they say when you're feeling exhausted, the last thing you might want to do is squeeze in a workout. But yeah. according to experts, that's exactly what, what you, you should do. do. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They said they found that low intensity exercise, equivalent of like a leisurely stroll, what are we talking about, around the block, yeah. experienced a drop in fatigue levels at a 20% and a 20% energy boost. Walking around the block. They talking about leisure, y'all. Just like you said before. Just like chilling. A, you know, after you work out, you feel better. You, you, you feel happy. Same thing after you, you work out, happy, you get like a boost of, of energy. You know, I don't know what it is. It's just like, you're like, man, even if the, the workout is like tiring and exhausting, you just feel better. It's like, man, okay. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you get more stuff done, you know. so. Mm-hmm. Well, here's one that you will love and I'm sure you can speak on. Sure. Um, increases your strength and flexibility. If strength mm-hmm. training and stretching aren't a part of your fitness routine, it's time that you incorporate them. The time is now. We're talking uh, about now, 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 now. They say, though many adults engage in cardio activities, quite a few stay away from resistance training and building muscle, and that's a big mistake. Yes. Tell me why. Um, because, you know, first thing, especially, you know, we talked about this before, women, we all make, they all make, I think, almost, because we're lifting weights, they're going to, get really bulky and muscular and things like that. That's not the case. Actually, uh, lifting weight helps burn calories. So, um, yeah, they said having a little muscle mass yes, burns your calories. Exactly. So, <laughs> and it's not to, you're not going to do it. It's based on how much weight you lift. So if you lift a lot of weight, yes, you will get more muscle mass. But if you just do some type of weight lifting, it could be five pounds, 10, you know, things like that. Then yeah, you're, you're burning calories. Um, and yes, you, you, Getting a little definition in your arms and legs and things like that. <laughs> well, so. we like that. Exactly. I don't want the flab. No. Like when you say hi, your arm says hi too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Just throwing away. That's real talk. <laughs> so serious. That's funny. Well, number seven, um, improves memory. They say you constantly miss placing your keys uh, or struggling to recall I don't names. Know about I remember that. my parents used to be like, Tara, Karen, Eileen, just one of you. One of y'all. Y'all. y'all know we are. <laughs> I'm just about. joking. And they say exercising regularly can help jog your memory. So it improves memory. It also increases self confidence. We kind of touched on that. They say exercising can help you feel better about yourself in general. You can perf- perform better at work, um, feeling less stressed and being happier and actually more productive. They said you become less susceptible to disease. I wanted to get through all of them so you can um, yeah. give me your two cents with Sean. They said from fortifying your immune system against future cancers to reducing the risk of breast cancer, regular exercise. Exercise helps protect your body. Mm. Although researchers aren't exactly sure how exercise boosts immunity, they say theories range from bacteria being flushed out of the body to reduction in stress release hormones that might increase the risk of illness. But we all knew that that exercise reduced the risk of. And if we want to improve our lives, starting now, the time is now. Time is now. Will improve your life. I mean. And last but not least, you will live longer. Ooh. They say, I mean, just kind of is what it is. They say being there for our loved ones and enjoying as many special moments together as we can. That's really what life is all about. So keeping your body happy and healthy to help you live longer, fuller life is one of exercise's biggest benefits. Therefore, it's great news that research published a couple years ago, which studied more than 650,000 people. And they found that 150 minutes of moderate exercise or about an hour and a half, five days a week, increases your lifespan by 3.4 years so short of moving to a blue zone which i don't think most of you are going to do exercising for just 10 minutes a day or 75 minutes a week can earn you an extra 1.8 years Mm. 10 minutes a day 1.8 years the findings held true even for those individuals who were overweight or obese Adding exercise helped them live longer while being obese and inactive decreased lifespan by up to 7.2 years. Wow. The benefits of adding more exercise increased and then plateaued at about 300 minutes of weekly exercise or an hour and five days a week, adding an extra 4.2 years of your life. So it's it's not even saying that you have to do some, you know, crazy workout yeah. routine. 
That's all you got to tell me. Getting something in a day yeah. from 10 minutes to an hour, whatever works for, even if it's 20 minutes a day, yeah. doing something, something mm-hmm. can literally change your life, which is yeah. why we want you to start now. The now. time is now. You want to live longer. You want to be here for your friends, your family, your kids, your everybody. Bashans. Live longer. That's that, that should be the title. Do you want to live longer? Mm, yeah, I do. Okay. Well, then go ahead and work out then. Get your workout on. Well, Let's go. Let's get, get checked. Get fit, get moving. So if they want to follow you moving. and follow your little videos yeah. and all of your health tips, yes. how can they do that? Um, follow me on Instagram today, please, at uh, Bashans, B-A-S-J-O-N-S underscore Jordan. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll post you more videos of workouts and things like that that you can do at home. So come check us, check us out, you know. Check us out. And we're going to be very intentional about our workouts, Intentional, we? we are. Because those people obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> lasted longer. And I'll post a video. <laughs> So follow us on social media. That's at TGL Radio Show. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. It's Wellness Wednesday, y'all. Small businesses play an important role in society, and LNR Security is no different. LNR Security delivers safety and comfort to our neighborhoods, events, apartment communities, conventions, work sites, festivals, and your business. LNR Security can be reached at 504-943-3191 to ensure the safety of your employees, customers, family, friends, and you. LNR Security has made its mark in the security arena for over 37 years and will faithfully continue that tradition. Call today for your personal personalized consultation to ensure your security needs are met. LNR Security differentiates itself by creating partnerships with our clients and guards. We are now hiring armed and unarmed guard professionals, retired military, sheriffs, and PD to grow with us and impact our community. Be a part of the change with LNR Security. Call us now at 504-943-3191. 504-943-3191. Isagenix is one of the fastest growing companies in the world because their products work. Their solutions and culture has redefined the health and wellness industry. Science backs their products and statistics back their success. But it's the people who make them successful. And I, Eileen Carter, have joined the Isagenix revolution. I've used the products and followed their system, and I would swear by them. I'm on my journey of transformation and invite you to join Join me and try Isagenix today. Challenge yourself and change your life. Find information and testimonials at thegoodliferadioshow.isagenix.com. 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 Order yours today. Cross towners out there. This is Jean Nathan letting you know we have moved. Our new time for Cross Town Conversations is Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Listen on your way home from work, preparing dinner, or heading out for the night. And join in on the conversations at 260-9265. We talk about our neighborhoods, the environment, the economy, politics, and the arts. Shopping tips, too. That's Cross Town Conversations with me, Jean Nathan, on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Tune in or stream us. Wednesdays at 6. The M.E. Tour is coming to New Orleans Thursday, April 13th at the House of Blues. It's Marsha Ambrosia and Eric Benet coming together for one night only in the Crescent City Live at the House of Blues. Located at 225 Decatur Street. For ticket information, pass the line on Foundation Room Access. Call the House of Blues box office at 504-310-4999. It's two Grammy-nominated multi-platinum singer-songwriters joining forces for the ME Tour. And it's making a special stop in New Orleans Thursday, April 13th at the world-famous House of Blues. Purchase your tickets online at LiveNation.com or at the House of Blues box office. It's the M.E. Tour, featuring Marsha Ambrosius and Eric Benet, April 13th at the House of Blues at 225 Decatur Street. See you there. The Good Life Radio Show is a proud WBOK block programmer. To advertise with The Good Life Radio Show, call 504-400-7127. 504-400-7127. Open your mind and grow with The Good Life Radio Show today. That's 504-400-7127. 
WBOK, 1230 AM, The People's Station. Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Wellness Wednesday, and we're here to open your mind. We are living the good life right here on WBOK 1230 AM. We are opening minds to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and hopefully each and every one of you. We are right here in Chili Gentilly. Well, I don't know what day it is or what the weather is because you just never know. The time is now to figure it out. <laughs> we have Bobby Clark Alexander, who is my life coach and yours. She is internationally known. You can follow her on all of her social media platforms, uh, B. Clark Alexander at Clark Alexander, right? And her website at BeWhoYouBe.com, BeWhoYouBe.com. If you're interested in having a conversation with her later, you can just go on there and type it up, and then she will respond to you. That is BeWhoYouBe.com. Why, Bobby? Because the time is now. Yes, it is. Not tomorrow, not next (laughs) week, not three years from now, not, you know, when I feel like it, now. The time is now. This is such a huge, huge topic, and Eileen, I am so excited about you just continually being in such a flow of what's going on. Um, there's this book that I, I uh, bought recently, and I do suggest that you buy it or download it. I have the paperback because I know I'm going to be referencing back and forth to this. Mm-hmm. But it says, um, it's by Thomas L. Friedman. He says, thank you for being late, an optimist guide to thriving in the age of acceleration. Wow, I'm looking it up right now. Yes, and um, with the tax and all, I paid $30 for it, but it's it's worth it. And um, this man has some insight and revelation on some things that we really need to look at to make it in the time of acceleration. You know, he talks about, I think in 2007, You know, how the Apple phone dove in and how, you know, what Steve Jobs did and what Bill Gates did and, you know, technology, he showed us from every direction how everything really shifted. Mm -hmm. And he said, we got lost in there somewhere. He said, but believe it or not, it is what it is and it's not going anywhere. That's things that I've been saying all along. So you're so on it. And he was saying something simple as, he's like, you know, you need to make connections with people that are like-minded. He said, you know, as as individuals, he said, that's something we have over nature and machine. Come on. Come on now. Come Isn't on now. Deep? Yes. He said, we, we have, you know, we have the common sense and the wisdom and the know-how, but we're not, we're not acknowledging that because we're so busy. Mm. And we're caught up, and he's like, we're going to miss it. Eileen, this really rings in my spirit because this is what I've been sensing for at least the last five years. And, you know, I always said that we're going to wake up and everything's different. A few weeks ago I said, don't despise the small beginning. Don't despise the small things right on your show. And I said, just get something done every day. Remember, I was sharing with them how to hear God, and I said, if something keeps coming to you, I said, more than likely, that's God trying to help you to get some things done if he keeps repeating it. He's going to give us the same lesson until we learn it. So that that speaks perfectly. He's going to give us the same lesson until we learn it. So now is the time to open our mind, to have a new perspective, and to walk into it. Do you want to keep hitting your head on the same wall and expecting a different result? Like, it's not the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. It's not going to happen. The time is now to do something different. But it is, Eileen, you said, you know, it's like, do you have to walk into a brick wall? Literally, yes, for some people. Um, 
it's every day, every day. They're doing the same thing over and over. Frustration sets in. And a lot of times, I want to just share this, just psychologically speaking. What I find with a lot of my clients when they come in and they're so uptight, they're so frustrated and everything, what happens is, Eileen, they use the capacity to be able to think rationally. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's real talk. Real. For real. And I have to, I have to, I sit there and I watch them because, you know, as trained professionals, body language speaks volumes. And so, um, just like nurses in, in the, um, you know, healthcare, they observe, um, people's vitals, uh, not only by what the technology or the machines are telling them, they, uh, also observe, you know, uh, what, what the, the body language is. Okay, wow. and so that that's the same thing in mental health. It's the same difference. And sometimes I let people vent. Sometimes people have to vent because if I sit or feel like they're about to pop, I'll just let them go for it for like thirty minutes. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes the time is not to get it up. You know, <laughs> and I let, right, and I just let them get it out because because I'm sensing their uh how tight they are, how aggravated and pent up they are about whatever has been going on with them, they've been going in circles. If they vent, if I allow them to vent and get it out and then I can get a second to get in there and then I can tell them now, what I need you to do is I need you to calm down. Mm. You know, I'm watching you right now and I can appreciate um where you are and I let them know I can. I appreciate where you are, but you came here, you know, for professional help to help you to get from where you are um, and move on. And and what they will usually do is they'll stare at me usually, and they'll come, they'll say, right, you know, that will be the first time they actually gave some um, some room to hearing something rationally to begin rationally thinking. And the thought process, mm-hmm. you know, that's the beginning right there. Yes. When I can just get them to stop and calm down and maybe see their behavior. Yes. To see themselves. It's like they're staring at me and that's letting me know that it, it's going through cognitively. We were having this conversation, Bobby, we are, we, are, we are so on it. I was having this conversation with someone. The time is now to acknowledge whatever it is for you. Yes. You cannot move forward without acknowledgement. Acknowledgement is like literally half the battle. If you can acknowledge, if you can make an acknowledgement of whatever it is, and I'm raising my hand because we all have something. If you can acknowledge it, you have like literally cracked the shell. You just have to start like, you know, peeling it off at that point. But until you acknowledge it, you can't do anything else because you're not even admitting that it exists. And you know what? I'm sitting here and I'm paying attention to myself. I I always try not to be, you know, scientific and and technical and everything when I deal with, you know, counseling and psychology or whatever. But this morning, I'm just feeling so propelled into that circle because it's like if they're not getting it one way, you know, maybe you have an audience that will get it this way. I like to keep it simple. I like to keep it plain. I like to keep it everyday language. But sometimes... You know, sometimes you just have to go there and say those that you can. Exactly. And exactly. And this conversation isn't for everyone because everyone's not ready yet. And it's okay. It's but okay. Those are, but those of you who are teetering, let this be the day. The time is now. Stop being stuck in the past. Acknowledge your portion. Acknowledge whatever it is for you. Let it go and move forward. Seriously, it will change your life. Today is the day that you can change the rest of your life. And it, it, it all starts with your mind. It all starts with your mind. We can be stuck on something and literally let it go. And the rest of our lives can change. Like we don't even realize that we put ourselves in these boxes. There's nobody okay. else doing yeah, it to us. Right we are doing it right to there. ourselves. And we first acknowledge that we're doing it to ourselves. Doing it's it to yourself. It's self-inflicted. It, it's yes. self-inflicted and we're blaming someone else or something else. And this is the thing, the... The um what stands out to me in his subtitle, he says thriving in the age of acceleration. This is this is really what I need to bring home and need you guys to really zoom in on. Things are moving so fast, you're missing so many things. This book literally gives you um some tools to get you to think and consider what we're missing. But the bottom line is 
We're not going to thrive if we don't know how to actually reset our thinking to live in this age, the age of technology. Everything is going to change from the way that we used to do it. It so is we changing. Think the old way, we have to have an open mind. Eileen, you said all the time, open your mind, open your mind. Open your mind. I just pray that somebody gets it this morning. Right. And the thing is, you know, we can appreciate the past and we need to have knowledge of our history. But we cannot, we cannot be stuck there. Right. We cannot be stuck there because even if you are stuck there, everybody else is still moving along. And you right. can be stuck there, you can be grumpy, you can be aggravated, you can be upset, and you can be like, you know, a little curmudgeon, like a little just, ugh, you can just, and there are people like that. And sometimes you just have to, you know, you want to bring them along, sometimes you have to let them go, because they're oh actually, my. they're actually oh the my. one hindering I mean, you. You said a mouthful. So you need to acknowledge if you're connected to somebody like that. It is oh what my. it is. But today, it's now. The time is now to start moving forward. You cannot be held back by other people. I was just talking about earlier about how you are a reflection of the five people around you and how I started drinking coffee because my man drinks coffee. But I found out it helps, you know, decrease the fat. So I started really drinking it because of that. But, you know, he opened my <laughs> mind to that. But I'm saying with the same thing, if we're stuck with someone who is has, you know, is stuck in the past, that's where you're going to be. So open your mind and let it go. You have to. We have to move forward. We and the time is now to do it. It's now. Right. Well, just think of it. If someone could just you visualize a ship that has anchors, and those anchors are like really, really um, strong, strong ropes, or they and they also have chains connected to to some of the ships to anchor it to a dock or whatever. That ship isn't going anywhere, you know, <laughs> with those anchor, anchors holding it back. But let's just take it another step. Barnacles, a ship can it can it can move with the barnacles stuck to it, but it will move extremely slow. So timing will be, you know, really um, interfered with because you're, you're carrying vessels or you're carrying barnacles, things that are hooked to you that you shouldn't be carrying with you. you got to, like, let some of that stuff go so that you can move on. Everybody Ooh. can't go. Everybody can't come, and the, the time is now to figure it out. The time is now to, you know, have a different perspective on things. There was there was something going on in my life about a year and a half ago, and I literally, like, you know, you just have that moment of like clarity. I had yeah. this. I was I was actually driving in WBOK's parking lot. I I parked and just had a moment of clarity, and I was like, it was just my perspective on something. And once my perspective changed, it was a whole situation in my life that turned. And right. it was just by a moment of clarity. Nobody else had a conversation with me. I was just able to open my mind and see it from a different perspective. And I was like, they were trying to give me the okie doke. And because they did it, I was listening to them. And because I was listening to them, it created this domino effect in my life. And look where I am now. But you know what? I'm taking my power back. That is not what's going to be my future. Right. I'm going, the time is now to take back your future. But we have to acknowledge that there is something going on, whatever it is for you. You have to acknowledge it, break free of it to walk in your purpose and your passion. And the time is now. you got to do it now. Absolutely. That is a mouthful, Eileen. This is a wonderful topic, and I just hope that somebody is really getting something for themselves. They can reach me at B. Clark Alexander. That's my email, B. Clark Alexander at yahoo.com. B. Clark Alexander at no, um, yeah, yahoo.com. That's my email. You can hit me up directly because I believe that there are some people that are ready to move on. Yes. And so I have some information to help you guys out. And just remember that your past and what you went through, it doesn't dictate your future. And people who you were connected to in days and times past, that means that it doesn't mean that um, they're still not a part of you in some sense, but they may not be a part of your future. Right. And that's what you have to understand. It has nothing to do with personal um, things. Some people don't want to go or do what you're doing, but they'll be there to mess you up. Right. Oh, and I want to say this because it's on my heart. If you are moving into a different future and there is someone that keeps bringing up your past, we talk about the time is now. The time is now to reflect on that relationship. The time is now to reflect on that relationship. If you are moving into a different future, we are not defined by our past. If there's somebody in your life that keeps bringing up your past, now is the time to redefine that relationship. That's for somebody. Yep. And that's the good life. (laughs) 
<laughs> nah, catch me outside with that. <laughs> this is a good life, y'all. It is Wellness Wednesday. We are opening your mind to living differently in the world with love, compassion, tolerance, and understanding for ourselves and everybody else. And so we just want to do that with love. And um, if we do that, we can literally change the world. If you want to follow Bobby Clark Alexander, her website is BeWhoYouBe.com. You can follow her on all social media platforms. And you can follow the Good Life Radio Show, me, Eileen Carter, at, at TGL Radio Show, at TGL Radio Show, because that is a good life. So thanks so much for tuning in. We'll be here tomorrow with Gumbo Talk Thursday, and we're out.